Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So as you can see I have bought uh, a 3D printer and uh, I choose uh, the Flying Bear Ghost 6 uh, because uh, of the, its uh, compact size and also uh, for the fact that uh, it comes 90% uh, uh, ready to print uh, out of the box and uh, also I must admit that uh, prints uh, very well uh, with uh, no modification to do its parameters. So, um, being uh, an RC modeler, I um, need to print uh, a lot of TPU and uh, after making some tests, uh, I found out that uh, the extruder gears uh, jam up uh, with uh, the filament when extruding with uh, TPU and uh, I needed uh, to fix uh, this problem because uh, it occurred randomly and uh, a lot of them. As you can see in this photo right here, uh, here is uh, the path uh, that uh, the filament followed uh, and uh, it uh, jammed right under the uh, wheels of the, of the extruder and uh, in this photo right here, uh, that is uh, from the Flying Bear web website you can see that uh, there is a, a little gap uh, between uh, the wheels and uh, the, the frame and uh, the filament being very thin uh, it will uh, sometimes uh, uh, go into that um, hole uh, into that space uh, and uh, jam uh, with uh, the, the wheels and uh, lock everything up so um, i needed to make uh, a modification and uh, here you can see how i did it uh, the first thing i needed to find was a uh, 4 mm uh, real sun tube uh, uh, holder uh, that uh, I needed to uh, drill because um, it had uh, the M6 uh, tap uh, as you can see in this photo right here but uh, the hole inside was uh, smaller and uh, I needed to drill it uh, to 4 mm in order to accept uh, the Teflon tubing and uh, also I had to uh, tap uh, the heat sink uh, with uh, an M6 uh, thread and here you can see the both uh, the uh, real sun tube adapter uh, holder uh, and the heat sink uh, assembled together I also needed uh, to drill a hole uh, into the print head uh, uh, holder and uh, that's because uh, I uh, it needed to uh, accept uh, the uh, real sun uh, tube holder. Uh, so uh, the, this uh, hole is about uh, 10 mm in diameter and uh, 13 mm long. And uh, here you can see that also I have uh, uh, drilled a uh, 4 mm hole uh, on the underside of the extruder uh, frame. Also uh, on the front frame uh, that uh, it's uh, transparent but for clearness I uh, had to uh, ex exclude that uh, from this photo. And uh, here you can see that uh, I am trying to assemble everything. Uh, and. Uh, trying uh, to uh, to see if there's uh, anything that uh, needs to be removed uh, further here you can see that I have uh, inserted the Teflon tubing and uh, I'm just playing uh, with the measures uh, in order to be sure uh, on how measure to cut it and uh, on what shape uh, to shape it and uh, in this photo you can see that uh, I shaped it uh, uh, just to reach the middle part of the um, wheels uh, just where the, the filament uh, inserts uh, into it and so there is uh, no space at all to, for the filament to escape here you can see that I have cut the Teflon tubing 1mm proud on the uh, heat, break, heat breaker and uh, I reassembled uh, the hot end uh, like uh, I, it was uh, mounted uh, and uh, assembled uh, everything back up. One thing that uh, I needed to do after this modification, I do not know why because I didn't uh, uh, play with the, the resistance and uh, or the thermocouple. Uh, I needed uh, to make the um, to make uh, um, PID retuning, uh, an auto tune, uh, 
uh, because uh, it didn't reach uh, the temperature, uh, the, the set point of the temperature. I do not know why, but I will leave uh, the link uh, uh, in the description for the Flying Bear uh, wiki page on how to do that. It's a really simple process and I think uh, that you should do that uh, even though you do not have problem because uh, it is really fast uh, and uh, it helps, it improves uh, the handling uh, of the temperature for the printer. So um, yes, uh, in the conclusion, uh, this uh, modification works really well. The filament is also easier to insert into the hot end, and uh, I uh, now can print a TPU without uh, any problems. Being a modification, this uh, might work for uh, for you uh, if you have this problem. I suggest you to try to find uh, other uh, solutions before. Uh, uh, taking apart uh, the hot end uh, and uh, working on it. Uh, this will uh, break your warranty on your printer and uh, it, uh, it may not work properly afterwards. So uh, do this modification at your own risk and uh, yes, uh, maybe there are some uh, settings that uh, need to be changed uh, on your printer that may help uh, with the printing TPU. I found out uh, this uh, modification works uh, and uh, it's working for me but may not work for you. So yes, do it at your, at your own risk and um, happy printing. I hope uh, I helped you and uh, yes, have a nice day. Bye.